Hey everybody, today I'm going to be uh, talking about um, how to sideload apps on iPhone. So with all the talk about how the uh, EU is making some new rule that might force Apple to enable sideloading, um, we'll see how that goes in the future, but for now, you can sideload right now. You can take any IPA file, which is basically just an iPhone or iPad app, um, and you can just put it on your phone. It doesn't have to be through the App Store. There's some limitations, we'll get into that. Um, basically, they have to be renewed every eight days. You can do a manual install or there's some way that it can automatically do it. To be fair, I haven't gotten the automatic way to work, so I don't know, your mileage may vary, but you can basically just throw on these IPA files directly to your phone. So what you're gonna wanna do first is go to altstore.io, and there are alternative methods. This method uses altstore. Uh, so we're gonna download altstore, go to altstore.io or search up altstore on your search engine and uh, go down to download, download it for whatever system you want. I believe it works fine on Windows. Uh, I've used Alt Store on Windows to just get the Alt Store on, worked fine. I haven't tried actually sideloading an app using it, um, but I have done it on Mac, works fine. So once you have the Alt Store downloaded and installed, you'll notice a diamond shape. Um, this will also pop up on Windows. You get the same icons uh, in the same menu options on Windows. What we're gonna do is set up, do a little bit of setup on our phone. Um, so you'll want to go into settings, scroll down right under battery, you got privacy and security, scroll down, developer mode, turn it on. That'll require a restart. It'll restart your phone and then it'll prompt you again to enable developer mode. It'll pop up right on your screen. You'll want to accept that, then developer mode's on after that restart and that second prompt. And then what you want to do is plug your iPhone or iPad into your computer. And when you do that, you'll get a little pop-up on your phone that says, do you want to trust this device? You'll get a pop-up on your computer saying, do you want to connect this device? Accept anything that has to do with trusting or connecting. Just get your device fully connected to your computer. And once it's connected, you should be able to see here, we click this Alt Store button here, install Alt Store, and your device should show up. So there's my phone shows up. You want to click that and then this is where it kind of gets a little sketchy. This is where I wouldn't blame you for backing out. This is where it asks for your Apple ID and password typing directly into this app. This is a security risk 100%. I'm not saying that Alt Store is sketchy or that Alt Store can't be trusted or that they'll steal your information or whatever. Um, I'm not even going to say that it sends it to the Alt Store servers. I have no clue what they do with this. That's the problem. You're putting your Apple ID and password into a app. It's like, generally it's a good security practice. Never do that. So we're doing it today. But if you want to sideload, this is what you got to do. The reason, let me just explain the reason why it asks for that. You need it because it signs the app with your Apple ID as if you're a developer who's making this app. This is the way they get around it. You can sideload an app if you're developing it, right? If you're developing an app and you're working on it, you want to test it on a real device, it's not going to be on the App Store. So there is a way to get apps without going through the App Store. And uh, this takes advantage of that. So we're going to type in our username and password. And I don't know, they said that it's fixed, but I don't know. I just put my email with no caps. So I would try that as well. No caps. They do have something about how they fix the issue where you can't use caps, but I'm just doing no caps. And then we click install. Now you see nothing. There's not gonna be a pop-up saying it worked. You won't see anything. There's no real feedback or doesn't really tell you anything unless it fails. Hopefully it pops up on my phone. And right here, you see the little Apple installing icon and then you see the alt store icon. When you click that, it says untrusted developer. It's gonna do that with every app you sideload. I'm going to show you how to get rid of that and to get the app working. So we're going to go into our settings. We're going to click general. We're going to scroll down to VPN and device management. And then there's our email, which hopefully I remember to censor. And then we're going to click trust. And then we're going to click the red trust button. So I'll probably have that um, completely blacked out, hopefully. And uh, you'll know what to do when you're in it. But once that's done, then we click alt store. And it opens. This is literally an app store. I'm going to give it access to anything it wants because for, for whatever reason I trust it. Um, 
it's not the most powerful thing in the world for one major reason. When you go to add sources, you can't add your own sources. There's just the trusted sources. You have to pay them on their Patreon right now to add sources, and that's a real bummer. But it, it lets you sideload IPAs, so you, I don't even know if you need to install the alt store to do this because you get the option whether you install it or not. But one of the limitations is that anything you install related to alt store or through alt store or anything like that, it has a, I believe, eight day time limit. So that's something about when you're, you know, testing an app, you put it on your device, that temporary signing that it does with your Apple ID only lasts for eight days, needs to be renewed. It also has a limit of how many apps you can put on there. Uh, so that's going to be a limitation as well. But nonetheless, it works. We're going to go ahead and click this icon again. And then there's no option to sideload the app. What you have to do on Mac is hold option. I don't know what that command is going to look like on Windows, but I do know what it looks like on Mac. So hold option, and then you click your phone, then it pops up a file explorer. We'll just navigate to the app we want to install. In this case, I'm doing an app called Old OS. Shout out to the people making Old OS. It's a cool little thing that recreates the old style of old iOS. It's kind of cool. Um, now it prompts us again. So we're just going to throw in our um, Apple ID and password again. You have to sideload it, and it asks for your Apple ID and password again. Now when you're done, we wait. And uh, I, I think this time we have to wait a little bit longer. Because I remember every time I've done this, it's taken a little bit longer than the initial alt store install to sideload the IPA. But I am really amazed that it, it, it does this, and this works. Because with all the limitations you run into with Apple products, this is really a cool thing. And look at that, old OS. Now, I, I wonder, do you have to approve it again? No. So here's old OS. This is an app that I sideloaded. This app's not on the App Store. And, uh, it's, you know, it's an app. This is not like an operating system or anything. It's an app that looks like an old iPhone. And this is a cool app. Shout out to the developers. It's not working. But okay, there, there it goes. It's pretty limited, but it has a lot of potential. For example, YouTube app doesn't work. Just says check it out soon, but it's cool. Uh, I have a real nostalgia for this old version of iOS. It's kind of replicating iOS 4, I think. Um, and it asks for our location and stuff. Hopefully I remember to block that out. We're going to allow it when using the app. We're going to give it access to our photos. And uh, there's a few cool things we can do in this, but this isn't a video about old OS. Um, kind of want to see what it says in the version. <laughs> it says version 4.3, so this is mimicking iOS version 4. But think about any app that you can get the IPA file for you can put on your iPhone. This is an app that's never going to be on the App Store. It isn't on the App Store. And we have it here. So, you know, this is a cool app that just mimics the entirety of iOS 4. And again, with limitations. Even the App Store works. And that's one of the cool things I like about this is I liked the old app store where you could just go to categories, scroll to a category you want, like utilities, and then you can go through top free and top paid, and it literally works. It doesn't install the app in old OS. It just pops you into the uh, actual app store, but you can still use it to search, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, I highly, you know, I, I guess I don't highly recommend this because it is a massive security flaw. Or not a flaw, but a massive security bad practice to put your Apple ID and password into something like this. Uh, I would do your own independent research. I remember researching it and coming to the conclusion that I'm okay with it. But I would do your own research and look up, is all store safe? Should I give them my Apple ID and password? Does it go onto their servers? You know, does it send my Apple ID to an alt store server or something like that? But um, nonetheless, all store is pretty cool. And this is how to sideload an, uh, an iPhone app. So hope you enjoyed.